Go, 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 let's get it I'm a trapping fanatic, that shit automatic So I cannot turn it on or off okay. Bitches all on my dick, then she hop on my dick I'm like, why you keep hopping on and off? Your bitch all on my dick, she be doing the most I tell her little bitch, so extra Am my gun up on me, but I run up on me Niggas, they wanna fight, they some wrestlers since they already won a match, they had a lot of points already. Now, they had their next match against Team Y. They did their film session and then discovered that they only had two main goal scorers for their team. Okawa and Nico, their playmaker. Since Team Z had won the match, they made a strategy that would fit their playstyle. Relying on instinct, if all else fails, pass the ball to Isagi, Kunigami, or even Bachira as those three would carry the offense if needed. With all of this out of the way, the match then begins with Team Y starting the game of chase. They pass the ball around in their half, not allowing Team Z's players to even get near it at all. Kira is the first one to analyze what's actually going on. This doesn't make sense. What could they be planning? He sees Okawa getting open and Nico looking in his direction. Time to counter. Kira goes on the move, but Nico is bodied off the ball by Isagi with his eyes glowing. What's wrong, Nico? You thought that would work? Such a shitty plan. Isagi then passes off the ball as he gets further in the defense. Kunigami was able to get double teamed while he had the ball, and is almost even stolen by Nico, but is recovered by Raichi, who then takes his open shot. It misses and it hits the post, bouncing back out. Everyone wonders how they would get to it. But Isagi jumps in the air while flipping, thinking about what he should do. No, that'll take him too long to think. My instincts, they're telling me to command the ball to my own will. As Isagi performs a bicycle kick, scoring a goal that leaves everyone shocked. Even Ego behind the screen doesn't know what to say. The development of this player is truly incredible. Blue Lock is the perfect environment for a skilled junkie like him. Isagi is seen standing, in place, excited by the feat of his last goal. His team surrounds him celebrating, but Isagi can't even hear anything. His body felt hot, and his mind was even sharper than before. His thoughts could no longer wander. He was focused, more than ever. This was it. He had entered this state once again, as he doesn't even know what to call it. He cracks a smile, and Team Y regains possession, resetting the ball. Okawa passes it to the midfield. But Isagi dashes right by him, chasing after the ball. How the hell is he moving so fast? Isagi then rushes for the ball, but they pass it around him as he continuously chases after it, noting, well, everyone else noting, that this was pointless, as they'll continue to pass. Still, a random player on Team Y would panic, not knowing who to pass to, and Isagi takes his opportunity, stealing the ball, and then looking ahead. Nico says that they have to stop him here, but Isagi becomes even better. From here on out, I'm putting everything I have on the line for victory. Isagi then overwhelms Team Y once again, earning his second goal of the match, which leads to many more for his team and himself, as there's no real challenge for them. And he takes off, well, he takes off the training gear, you could say, of him holding back. There's no need especially when he's in this state. He also takes the vision from Nico in this match, adding it to his own arsenal. While later eating in the dining hall, he's approached by two players that are twins. They ask for an alliance, but Isagi declines. If I want to score, then I will, and I expect the two of you to throw everything you have at me. What's the point of football if there's no real challenge to prove that I'm the very best? The Wanima twins then scoff, saying, they wish they didn't have to do this and actually try to attack Isagi. They figured that if they injured him, even if it was just a little bit, they would be guaranteed a win. Ego then appeared on one of the TV screens stating that he would report them for their actions and they would have to report to their room and they're not allowed to leave until their match begins for their penalty. As they leave the dining room, Ego greets Isagi once again. How do you like it so far? What? blue lock no you simpleton the feeling the feeling of crushing others with your own ego you're quite selfish what are you talking about 
It's simple, Yoichi Sagi. You get enjoyment from destroying others with their own moves. Time and time again, you've proven my theory, so there's no denying it now. Isagi stands, turning to the screen as I would continue this conversation until it was finished by Isagi walking away. Call it whatever you want. All that matters is that I win and prove I'm the best, right? Ego pushes his glasses further on his face with us not being able to see his eyes, as he does say something in the background, but we wouldn't hear it either. Isagi then heads into the weight room and trains until the end of the day. As their next match will be announced, Team Z decides to keep somewhat of the same strategy as Isagi begins to work on perfecting all the moves he already knows, as well as the shots that he's copied. More and more information is fed into his brain by Kira, who's actually a football junkie. His extensive knowledge proves to be useful to him time and time again. A little bit of training time does pass before the match as Team Z was prepared for anything. As they step up and face Team W and the Wanima Twins. In a thrilling football match between Team W and Team Z, the stage was set for an intense showdown with Team W boasting the formidable Wanima Twins known for their lightning fast speed and uncanny coordination, along with their talented midfielder who had switched sides off of Team Z, Kuon. Now, Team Z had Isagi, of course, who was our MC, and Kira, a tactical genius, as well as other players like Kunigami and Bajra who supported their offense. The match kicked off. The atmosphere was electric, with Team W showcasing their exceptional teamwork, as well as their quick passes that went right through the defense. The one in weaved through them effortlessly with their synchronized attacks. Then they went right into Team Z's backline. Still, they struggled to get by the defensive duo of Kira and Raichi, as these two worked together like machine parts. This is when they would steal the ball, beginning their counterattack, as the ball is sent forward, with Batra now having it. Isagi didn't have the ball now and was moving off ball to create an opening for a shot. With his remarkable abilities to replicate skills, he adapted to Team W's defense instantly. They tried to corner him and stop him from using his right leg, blocking it off. Isagi's presence on the field then became a constant threat as he effortlessly shifted players, getting open, and Batra sends a cross right towards him. But both twins were now on him, trying to stop the shot. Kira notes to himself that they've gotten too close. Isagi then laughs while jumping back while letting the ball go right over their heads. As now it went right to Isagi, who shot with his left foot, scoring the first goal of this match. Kuon wonders why Kira had said something like that, but then remembers that Kira is a master tactician, utilizing his keen strategic mind to help calculate and manipulate the field, as with each move, he positioned his teammates in perfect harmony, creating an intricate passing lanes and exploiting the gaps in Team W's defense. Kira's ability to read the game and make split-second decisions made himself a vital asset for Team Z in their success. As the match then progressed, the intensity would diminish. Team W continued to rely on their coordinated attacks Leveraging the Wanima Twins' speed and Kuon, who had still betrayed his team. Team Z was then used, well, they kept using Isagi's adaptability and Kira's strategic brilliance as they fought back with their overwhelming their opponents, not letting them score at all. As in the end, it was Team Z who had emerged with the victory. Kunigami was their hero throughout this match because of his own scoring. The team's combined effort led to constant goals that sealed the victory, leaving Team W in awe of their opponent's exceptional skills. Now, after this match, is where Isagi would have some interaction with Nagi. Of course, these players are total opposites, but they have much in common, both being prodigies. However, Nagi doesn't understand why Isagi has such a high drive for this sport and to become better. While Isagi doesn't understand why Nagi with all his gifts, doesn't want to get even stronger than that and challenge even the best who are among the world now. Soon, the day of their own match would arrive 
and Isagi greets Nagi as well as Ryo. Each of the players looked on ahead, knowing that this match would change everything. Win or lose, they can't give up, and they can't look down on their opponents. And so the kickoff begins, with Isagi sending it to Kira. Use those eyes of yours, for the sake of my own victory. Kira shows his vision, stating that he's going to manipulate the pieces on this board. Ryo then appears in front of him going for the steal, but the ball is flicked over his foot and then crossed to Kunigami, who jumps in the air trapping it with his chest. Kira then moves throughout this field, scanning it all, saying that each piece has its role, and he'll fulfill his own. Bachiro with the ball, then senses something, and sends it to Kira, who goes for it but it's stolen by Zantetsu. I'll be taking this. Zantetsu then runs with the ball, and Team X goes on the offensive, tearing through Team Z. This shocked many, as this team was going all out from the beginning, which made sense. Team Z was undefeated, and so were their opponents, so why would they take them lightly as they did in canon? Nagi was seen trapping the ball, volleying it into the net. He says he's tired, but Ryo claims he needs four more goals to make sure that they win, and the duo turns to Isagi, who was calm as ever. He stood, not caring about the goal, but the process that they used to create it. That formula. It's deadly. A speedster who's good at offense and defense. A complete midfielder who creates insane passes. And a striker who traps like no other to score. I'll take all of it and make it my own. Isagi jumps ahead with the ball, first blitzing Ryo with his dribbling and then Zantetsu with his own speed. The remaining defender stood no chance as Isagi lifted the ball into the air and then volleyed it from a great distance, mimicking the shot of Kunigami. So, that's a little terrifying. Ego lays back, so even physical abilities aren't out of his domain. These two teams then begin trading goals back and forth, with Nagi getting serious throughout the match. The prodigy can score from all angles using his trapping, especially with the passes of Ryo. Nagi reaches a new level of skill that he didn't know, was possible, but it was all thanks to Isagi, as now, even he wants to become the best. That's right. But he needs to beat Isagi, no matter what. The score was now being tied, with three goals each. Isagi sends it out to Kunigami. The striker heads it down, breaking through the defense with his great strength. Getting closer and closer to his zone, he prepares for the shot, but Ryo appears once again. Not this shot. You can't get around me from here. This game is going to be ours. Kunigami embraces the thought of being the hero of this match, allowing himself to dribble. To win is to force his own ego onto the field. He performs a chop similar to Baru, but with his own twist, and it ends up on his left foot. This is it. He shoots it only for the keeper to then block his shot, sending it into the air. Kunigami was devastated, but his eyes, no. These aren't his. The eyes of Isagi are seen next. He's ecstatic. Excited. The ecstasy of this match. The climax of it. It's making him happier and happier. This feeling. He didn't even know it could come from just playing football. But it's here now. And he doesn't want to let it go. A goal like this doesn't come all the time. The ball gracefully descends upon the players. With Isagi and Nagi both going for it. Isagi then bodies him off the ball with his own strength. You made this fun for me, Nagi. But I hate losing. Isagi then rips a shot into the goal while smiling, as Nagi and Ryo both watch in despair as the final goal is scored and they actually lose a match. Isagi stands over them as the victor, not saying a word, but leaving the pitch. Igo sits back in his chair, saying that Isagi himself has now realized it. That he's the strongest, as no one in the first selection could even pose a problem to him. As Nagi would be completely useless without the help of Ryo, so who could really challenge him in a one versus one situation? Isagi is then seen sitting back in an empty room with his head down. I need more. Even more. Winning a World Cup. That's my only goal. That's all I ever desired. So I need more. Days of intense training then go by as the strikers are now introduced into the second selection 
as Ego would appear on the screen, explaining that Blue Lock will become even more intense from now on. So these unpolished gems better ready themselves.